that when we talk with individuals who have attempted suicide and survived, they talk about that moment that they made that decision that they no longer wanted to live. And it is very heartbreaking um, when, they, when they explain to you that although other people may be going through the same thing, in that moment, they feel the greatest pain that they've ever felt before in their lives. I think that uh, what's different um, now versus when we were growing up is the pressure. The pressure that the kids are under now, um, I, I don't think it compares um, the, to the pressure we had, whether it's socially, whether it's academics and their grades. Um, because of social media, there, there is a need. There's a need to be liked. So we know that we've seen an increase in the number of our kids that are committing suicide. Um, just this year alone in 2017, we've seen 19 cases that have been confirmed. Um, that does not mean that there may not be a case that's still under investigation. Um, we know that the majority of those deaths occurred within the last two months. So we're just trying to make sure that um, not only the public, but parents especially, um, educators, anyone who spends a significant amount of time with our children um, are aware of what the signs are. Recognize the signs. Um, if a child is, uh, whether they're displaying behavior that is odd or different or outside of the norm. Um, if you have a child that's already suffering from depression, already been diagnosed um, with mental health issues and under a doctor's care, you have to react a lot sooner um, when these children um, either voice uh, suicidal ideations, or if you notice a drastic change in behavior, things that they uh, enjoy doing before, they don't want to do, excessive sleeping, things of those nature. Um, we know that, you know, kids may not talk to us, they may not talk to parents, but kids talk to other, to other kids. So we like to use the, the, the phrase, if you see something, say something.